Today I'll be reviewing Smallville Season 2. After that emotional finale in Season 1 with Clark up to Lana's rescue in a tornado, Season 2 picks up right after that and it's freaking awesome. As I recall, I believe it starts off in, in a tornado rescuing Lana. And there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You got Lex and an issue with his father. Whether or not to save his life or whatever when he gets crushed under that piece of rubble or something. So I don't think Kent goes out to that reporter guy. Martha has to deal with that ship and it when it came to life down in season one. And of course there's a wooden that left and I don't really give a shit about him because I hated him. And I uh, forgot. But yeah, and Chloe's kinda ticked off at Clark for leaving her. <laughs> Can't really I also always felt bad for Chloe in this series. She deserves a chance at least for Clark. I mean, he's supposed to be this, being such a dick on like a lawn every five freaking seconds. Maybe you wouldn't notice her more, you know? <laughs> but I guess that's how I keep it more realistic, you know? I mean, if you really wanted to hear Chloe, could have. I would have. <laughs> I would have. But no question, man. I love blondes and she was freaking sexy. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't have had no chance with Lana, so I'm like, freak it. <laughs> Move on. There's plenty of bitches in the world anyway. <laughs> Apparently, Clark, even with his X-ray vision, couldn't see that. Don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> Season 2 was pretty good. Yeah, I guess you could say a little darker as it went on. Not really, but start to explore more of Clark's origins in this season. The ship and got the voice of Jarrell and stuff. Voiced by Terrence Stamp, the original Zot in Superman 2. Kind of ironic. <laughs> Zod playing Clark's father in small TV. <laughs> Funny, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I used to it after a while, though. But I'll keep hearing in my head. Kneel before Zelda. <laughs> Kneel before Zelda. <laughs> mm, I don't know what else. Uh, yeah, Clark and Lex's friendship slowly starts to spiral out of control as far as I can remember. And they're really start to develop their rivalry towards season three and four. And that's when they stop becoming friends. Or stop when it's when they're not no longer friends. And they start going into that enemy stuff. And that was interesting. It's kind of sad when it happened. But it was inevitable. You know, because Lex is that dude and Clark has no choice but to lie to him because he can never trust him. He knows he can never trust him, but he still wants to believe in him. And I get that. Been there before. More times than I want to admit. And, uh, season two finale. It's probably one of my favorites. When Clark leaves Smallville after doing something stupid, of course, that he thought would, you know, gain his freedom from, you know, the whole Jarrell thing that starts the season and that complicated uh, relationship, if you even call it that. Finally, Clark meets his another girl that actually likes, but it turns out. Not to be what he expected. <laughs> Figures. All the more reason for him to be with Lois, huh? Honestly, I was hoping she would be introduced a little earlier in the series. But of course, they kept doing that stupid Lana Clark crap. For like seven freaking seasons. It was freaking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I was writing that series. On his ass would have been killed off or something. She was his high school love interest. 
High school, not college. She went to get with the freaking picture. I know the sewage is over already, but gee whiz. Still got to wonder how the hell this show gets 10 seasons, man. How did this show get 10 seasons? I mean, shows like an ordinary family just camps off the one. That's another video, of course. Yeah, and the finale. Smoke or Clark hops on his bike, says peace to Lana, <laughs> and leaves. Put on the oh, of course I gotta forget. We're a kryptonite been introduced in this season, and uh, I have to say it's probably one of my favorite twist storylines in the whole series. for kryptonite, although after a while I started using it too damn much, and it got a little annoying. In season two, when it was first introduced, oh my gosh. Clark is the badass when he has that ring on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like when he puts it on, it like strips away all his worries and stuff. It's like a drug or something. To the point where they end up in the season two finale, he's running to uh, Smallville High to grab the uh, ring that's in Chloe's office at the Smallville Torch or whatever it's called. So he grabs it and he's like getting a little peek. Like ring is like. He's like, Clark, don't do it, man. The thing I got gonna be the same. We're like, I like, oh, we don't want to be right now, Pete. And yeah, been there, done that. Wish I could have one of those rings. And yeah, season two is pretty good. Just step in the right direction. Next season, not sure I can say the same. Only because story. Touched to spiral out of control a little bit. I'll get into detail with that a little later in my next season review. Coming soon.